In this video, I'll be discussing about arithmetic progressions. We can call them arithmetic progressions or arithmetic sequences. Now, the very first question which comes out is what is an arithmetic progression? We can also write them AP, it stands for arithmetic progression. So any sequence in which the difference between consecutive terms the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant is called arithmetic progression we can write them AB any sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant is called AP. So let's take an example now. I have sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Now let's note the difference between any two consecutive terms. The difference between 4 and 2, it is 2 here. The difference between 4 and 6, these are two consecutive terms, it is 2 again. And the difference between the next two consecutive terms, again 2, and then the difference between next two consecutive terms is again 2 here because 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 and similarly the difference between any two consecutive two any two consecutive terms here which will be coming next would be equal to 2 also so the difference is constant between any two consecutive terms so such a sequence is called AP now let's take another example of AP here for example I have sequence 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and so on now let's note the difference between any two consecutive terms here. The difference between 3 and 1 is equal to 2. The difference between 7 and 5 is equal to 2. The difference between 7 and 9 is equal to 2. 13 and 11 is equal to 2. So the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant in this given sequence. So this sequence is also an arithmetic progression. Uh, let's take one more example. We can write 1, 4, 7, 10, 13 here. Here the difference between any two consecutive terms is equal to 3 here because 4 minus is equal to 3, 7 minus 4 is also equal to 3, and 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. So the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant, therefore this sequence is also an AP. Now you should be able to tell me that if you are given any sequence, for example, I give you one sequence here and you have to tell me if it is an AP or not, if it is an arithmetic progression or not, the answer would be no, it is not an arithmetic progression because the difference between any two consecutive terms doesn't remain the same here because 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 but 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. So because 4 is not equal to 1 here, therefore this sequence, given sequence, is not an AP. So let's take another example here. I have sequence 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 here. Now tell me if it is an AP or not. The answer would be yes. This given sequence is, uh, is an arithmetic progression because the difference between any two consecutive terms here is equal to 5. Because 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, and 20 minus 15 is also equal to 5, and 15 minus 10 is, is also equal to 5, and so on here. Now, you should be able to guess, you should be able to tell me um, if any given AP is a, if any given sequence is an AP or not. Now, let's take one more example. We have something like that 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Let's take this sequence again. We know that this is an AP now because the difference between two consecutive terms is an AP. If we have any given AP, its very first term is represented by letter A. So whenever you see letter A in regarding any arithmetic sequence, it means that it is very first term. And difference between any two consecutive terms is represented by letter D. 
it, and it is also called common difference it is called common difference the word common has been used here because it remains same for any two consecutive terms because it is property of AP so if I give you any AP here for example for example I give you minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 minus 12 this is an AP here now can you answer me that what 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 is going to be the first term first term of this AP and what is the common difference we know that first term is A which is equal to here minus 3 and common difference D is equal to D's common difference here which is the difference between any two consecutive terms so we can take any two consecutive terms here and common difference is equal to minus 6 minus minus 3 which is equal to minus 6 plus 3 is equal to minus 3 here so the common difference is equal to minus 3 don't get confused here because we have to subtract minus 3 from minus 6 we cannot find common difference in this way that would be wrong and because the answer would come plus 3 here which is wrong here we have to subtract previous term from the next term in order to find the common difference so that's why I wrote minus 6 minus minus 3 equal to and here minus minus becomes plus and the answer comes of minus 3 as a common difference so in this video we learned what is an AP like any sequence where the difference between two any two consecutive terms is constant and and we learned how to what is the first term of AP What is common difference of AP? So that's all about this video. So it was very general basic introduction about.